everybody, it's EK from EK Gorman Designs, and I am coming today with a brand new series. That's right, I said series. Uh, it's a new challenge my boss at White Rose Crafts has set me, where she sends me a mystery pack of 12 by 12 printed paper and some sheets to complement it. And I use the entire 12 by 12 sheet of paper to create a collection of cards. Now, I have no idea, I had no idea until opening it, what the paper would be. But I did pre-make some 12 by 12 sheets, just kind of teach me how to cut. I've never done this, by the way. I've never done this. I don't use 12 by 12 paper. I think 12 by 12 paper is incredibly difficult to use. Thus the fun of my boss sending me paper. I have no idea that I'm using, and me using all of it. I did make some pre-cut sheets, you know, and I'm love this paper from Kaiser Crafts. It's the All That Glitters collection and this paper is called Radiant and I'm a numbskull. I didn't realize it was double-sided until I started cutting it. But I love the green butterflies on one side and the celebratory gold and green confetti on the other. So I'm kind of... I, I had some a pre-cut plan sheet so I knew how to use all the paper on the 12 by 12 paper page. Now I'm just trying to figure out where to what pattern to use it in. I realized I, I came up with the plan and it's eight sheets of paper and I took the two pieces of uh, Aspire Vitalik complimentary paper. It's in pure gold and pearl cardstock. The pearl looks white but if in, on camera it looks white but in real life if you move it it's this beautiful reflective shiny paper so it doesn't look white against the card frame. It looks shiny and pretty. I trimmed up the two sheets of Vitalik cardstock to complement and border the Kaiser Craft Radiant 12 by 12 paper, and I started assembling. Now, it wouldn't be one of my videos unless I get in a fight with my tape runner, and for these first few cards, I'm definitely fighting the tape runner. I had a brand new Tombow roller, and it just wasn't working right, and I finally got it inserted correctly. I hate... Please somebody give me a cheap tape runner alternative. Uh, I, I am a double-sided adhesive fan, but that's too complicated and too long in a video. You'll notice I use a combination of techniques with this 12 by 12 paper. Uh, sometimes I back it with the metallic, sometimes I let it float on the card frame alone, sometimes over everything I use a little bit of it, uh, embellishments. I, I don't like when my cards look the same. I want to make a collection of cards in which each card is an individual on its own. I know there are people out there who can happily make the same card format over and over again. I'm not one of them. Uh, my ADHD would go nuts if I was trying to make constantly the same card. So each of the eight cards that I came up with using all of the 12 by 12 Kaiser Craft paper is unique in its own right despite having the same uh, paper on all of it and the same, I use the same sentiment stamp pack to finish it and I use two different packs of pearl adjustments. To finish the cards, you'll notice those later. I really like the shape that I, um, I like how I cut up the paper. I like each of the individual shapes I had. I think it gave me a nice variety. These two cards could easily have been considered the same, so one is backed in the pearl and the other is backed in the gold. And I, what I really like about the paper and how it's cut up is on the edges of the, the confetti side, it's heavier, and in the center it's light, so the paper has a fluidity that makes each piece really look unique. It's not a repeating pattern. It's all, yeah, it's all interchanging. So there's the eight cards. Now to finish them, I'm going to pull out the Woodware UK because you're special because you're uh, because you are so stamp set. I want to say because you're special, but that's not right. It's because you are so. And what makes this stamp set cool is there is a because you are so dot 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 stamp, literally, and then all the other words fill into it because you're so kind, because you're so beautiful, because you're so thoughtful. So it's a really nice sentiment set to build your own. I really wanted to make this gold pigment ink work. It didn't. I really, really wanted to. You can see I'm even double stamping it, trying to get it to really pop. It didn't. So instead, I pulled out some black pigment ink 
gave it a little, didn't clean it, gave it a little shot and it turned out perfect layer of inking to get both the gold and the black. Again, I'm going to use the Because You Are So. This time I'm going to make it special. That's the, me trying to keep calling it Because You're So Special stamp set. Uh, this is a really fun collection of sentiments, making each card feel unique without being too repetitive. Now, as many of you know, White Rose Craft is closed for the summer. They are actually relaunching their entire online store, and we're using these several months to rebuild a website so that there's all kinds of new added benefits to shopping White Rose Crafts, like a customer loyalty program. So September 1st, the new store will launch, and I promise we'll have a big heyday. So at the moment, you can't order any of this stuff. But I don't want you to forget about White Rose Crafts during these, this summer hiatus because when they relaunch in September, it's going to be so awesome. Yeah, here I am trying to make that gold work again. Uh, you'll have to let me know which of the eight cards ended up being your favorite. I know they all kind of look alike, but they're also very different. I will tell you the... Uh, the one coming up here at the end of this one stamping is, ends up being my favorite just because I think it's really fun looking. I am going to do a giveaway. Ah, oh, I know, I never do giveaways. I'm going to do a giveaway of this eight card collection. So let me know in the comments below if which of the eight cards is your favorite and you might randomly get picked to get sent all eight cards with coordinating envelopes. Not coordinating, but envelopes. So fun little giveaway for my first mystery package, especially since you can't order the papers to make this yourself right now. I figured it'd be a fun way to get some White Rose Craft things in your hands without being able to shop. This one is my ends up being my favorite of all, my personal favorite. I liked how all the words layered beautifully and then you're gonna get to watch me make a mistake. Oh no. I, again, I'm still trying to make this gold work. It's not happening. But on this one, the gold peeking through the black really, really did work, I believe. See, isn't that fun? Like, it's almost like it's bleeding through. It's not clear. It's not vibrant. To finish each of the cards, I pulled out the Want to Scrap adhesives. These are in gold. They're perfect little self-adhesive gems. I also pulled out the Kaisercraft Flower Rhinestones, and this color I used was mint. So I used a combination of the gold self-adhesives and the little flower rhinestones to finish each of the cards. And what I feel is a fun way. Um, it kept them simple. It kept the cards. I like this card collection because I think you can use it for anything. Because you could use it for an anniversary. You could use it for a birthday. You could use it a, for a thank you or a thinking of you. And it just kind of gives you eight cards that you can use when you need a card to say something to somebody. And I think we can all agree that you always need a blank card laying around for any occasion, especially after this last year. I think a lot of people have gotten back into doing special touches and little sentiments that show you really care. At least I have. I know my whole family has really started taking the time to show our appreciation for the little things instead of taking for granted what people have do for us. This is the last of them and I love how the little gold pearls just float on the sea of butterflies. Again, make sure you comment below for your chance to win this eight card collection. Thanks for tuning in today and stay tuned because September 1st will be here before we know it and White Rose Crafts will be back open better than ever. Until then, Happy crafting.